This is a look inside the Warhawks featuring Whitewater Warhawks head women's basketball coach Carrie Corallo. A look inside the Warhawks is brought to you by American Family Insurance agent Kyle Danielson in Fort Atkinson and Burton Chevrolet Buick GMC in Whitewater. A historic start to your season as your squad is picked up coming into this recording 17 straight wins a program best. What do you attribute that to and being able to kind of maintain the intensity that your squad's been able to throughout this season? I attribute a lot of it to our leadership on our team. I think our captains have done just a great job really making sure that our young players really felt integrated and important right away, which is something we work really hard on, especially when we're going to have to have them play some pretty big roles in our team this year. I give them a lot of credit. I also attribute it to all the things that they did in the offseason. I'm going to be quite honest. Like I think their work ethic outside of, of the basketball season itself and them really preparing themselves physically and mentally to get ready for another challenging season has really created this culture and this environment of um, just a great level of confidence because they can always lean on all the work that they put in in the off season. So they are really playing together and they're really playing with a lot of confidence, which is, which is really fun to see as a coach. Every year, every season that you've talked about, there's new pieces, new components. You bring on some folks that have some playing time I'm already at other programs. Sometimes it can take a while for that all to come together. Was there a time that things just seemed to click during the season or did you even notice it before the season started? I think, you know, adding Katie Hildebrand, a transfer from North Dakota State and, and then 10 new freshmen <laughs> was uh, was a little bit of a, of a big challenge for our returning group. But I feel like just the personalities of this team and the, and the new people really just gelled right away early in the season, I would say even in preseason with our returning group. So I think that just, you know, having that relationship kind of grow from the very first day of school until now has really created just a really happy space. I mean, this team is really happy. They work really hard. They respect each other, which is is hugely important. And probably the other key thing is that they've really taken on their roles and they've really accepted them and they really challenge each other every day. So even though they may not be a starter or someone that's playing a lot of minutes, they understand the value of their role in really pushing their teammates to continue to improve each day so that we can continue to win games. Speaking of winning games, undefeated on the season, that of course means you're undefeated in the very tough WIAC conference. You're going to be tested a little bit in the next week, though. A couple of home games coming up, Saturday, UW-Eau Claire, and then Wednesday, the last day of January here, UW Oshkosh, a team that you took down on the road. You two like to beat each other on your home courts, it seems. So focusing in kind of on that one, since they're in second place, what do you expect from Oshkosh and, and that game? Yeah, it's always a, a tough challenge. I mean, they are very competitive. They're playing really well right now. They only have one loss in conference. I think that they're starting to gel at the right time, which I know Coach Fisher had, you know, some new pieces to his plan as well. So I think they're really starting to play really well together. If you look at their scores defensively, they're holding teams to like less than 50 points. So they're playing some really good defense as well. And, you know, it's been a heated rivalry for a number of years now, so which makes it fun. I mean, these are the games that you really look forward to, are excited about because you know it's going to be competitive and it's going to be great basketball. So these are the types of games I really enjoy coaching because it is kind of like that chess match you get to play against your opponent. And I know our team will be ready and they'll be looking forward to, to that challenge. Two chances to see this Warhawk women's basketball team coming up in the next week, Saturday, 3 o'clock, UW Eau Claire, and then on Wednesday, 7 p.m. against UW Oshkosh. Head out to the Ketchell Gymnasium in the Williams Center and watch this squad. They look to be a special one here in the 2023-2024 season. This has been a look inside the Warhawks with Whitewater Warhawks head women's basketball coach Carrie Corallo. A look inside the Warhawks is brought to you by American Family Insurance agent Kyle Danielson in Fort Atkinson and Burtness Chevrolet Buick GMC in Whitewater right here on 104.5 WSLD.